So for today, we're going to be looking at the Eververse offerings for the Halloween event. And not going to lie, there's a few things I like here and there. But let's look at the stuff real quick. Uh, first and foremost, Glass Endurance. It's an emote from, I think, like either one or two years ago. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, Lepta, whatever that says. I'm not the biggest fan of this, so I probably won't get it. I can't even afford it. Uh, for pumpkin projection, I'm not gonna look that. Basalt toxic looks pretty cool in my opinion. Definitely would scoop this up. Holy shit, it gives that's pure black. Wow. Okay. Um happy I have that. And let's actually look at the stuff. So Robo Raptor Hunter bundle. I've actually already got in this. I've already done the review for it. I'm currently editing this. But I if you want the like the like the really quick review of the armor sets, I'm not the biggest fan of a lot of them. Um, I do like pieces of them, but there's definitely pieces of the armor that cannot be shaderable, so that's very annoying. Uh, you got Canis Luna Hunter, you got the blue armor from two years ago, I think, and then this one from the first year of uh, this event. And then you got finishers. Let's see this one. That's fucking cool. Let's see this one. One inch punch. I think that was from last year. And then we got new mask. We got the shaded titan mask, which looks pretty cool. Definitely would scoop this up. Uh, penguin mask, which is funny. And then the mask ornaments, which I think this is from last year. Last year, yeah. yeah. So these are the ones that you, you pay for. I think you can get them from Bright Dust if uh, they're giving them. And then the old emotes might get some new ones as well, but I'm not going to look at them. Definitely the Calav Calavera uh, shell looks super cool. I'm actually... pretty. Like, this is pretty cool. I'm not Mexican. <clears throat> But if you guys don't know, I'm pretty sure that uh, we have like every like almost everyone in South America and Central America has their own uh, Dia de los Muertos. And I definitely know Honduras has one, if I remember correctly, which is like where my family's from. So <clears throat> that's pretty cool. Definitely, definitely super cool. Uh, I would definitely scoop this up, though. Like I, I am tempted to actually scoop this up just because it looks really cool. And... That's pretty much it for, oh no wait, this one's new, which I thought was pretty cool. This one's new, which I thought was super dope as well. Uh, not enough to buy it, cause like, <clears throat> Bright Dust is not looking too good. Which I will explain why I have silver in just a minute. I did explain in that other video, but I will explain it here just because I feel like, as someone who has bashed the store so much and seen some, someone like me buy silver is very hypocritical of me, but, <clears throat> I actually had no choice this season. I mean, I did have a choice. That looks fucking cool, dude. Oh my God, I actually want that one. Uh, but let's talk about this. So essentially, I didn't have enough Bright Dust because I wasn't playing, as you guys can see from my challenges. I didn't even do last week at all. I didn't do much of the week before that because uh, my internet is really, really bad. I'm hoping the connection doesn't just drop right now because it's been dipping in and out. But that's pretty much it for the Halloween event, or at least the Eververse portion. Let's see what she's selling this week. So she's selling the Strange Brew, which for 4,000 brightness, you can eat my ass. Uh, Magnificent Dance, which no. She has the cat, no, bat one. She has the bat ghost. <clears throat> she has the new Sparrow, which I thought was pretty funny. Because I was like, man, I, I would get that if I fucking afforded it, right? or I could afford it. Uh, the Infected Seeker, which is definitely super cool. And the Omni Ghoul Mask, which is funny. And the last but not least, uh, Fang Projection. For bright or for shaders, we have Polished Sea Stone. I hate it. <laughs> Vanguard Magnus Glow, which or Gloss, which looks uh, very, very Vanguardy ish. Uh, Corellian Divide, which I'll, I'll let you be the judge. And then Dawn and Dusk, which I've seen some people do some really cool armor sets with this shader. And that's pretty much it. Let's look at the masks, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, should be in flare all the way in the... No? Here. So as for masks, we have an Ada 1 mask. Yo, let's fucking go. That's cool. Uh, we got a Tanix mask, which is definitely what I needed because now I can do a Tanix. Uh... <gasps> oh my God, I'm excited. Aramis mask, which is pretty cool. Pyramid mask, which is funny. Damn, you look like Pyramid Head with this, yo. Uh, 
Sweeper bot mask, cool. Definitely, definitely excited for this one. Not, I'm not even kidding. Uh, honk moon mask. Oh, this is terrifying. And then spider mask, which I didn't get from last year because these were from like Eververse, and I was like, I'm not wasting bright dust on that shit. So that's pretty much it. That's your Eververse. I will def I will be doing uh, the challenges video right now. I, I don't even know why I'm saying that because I'm probably gonna post the challenges one first. Uh, but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I will see you guys later.